What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Prize Picks NFL Player Props video. This one going to be breaking down the Week 5 Thursday Night Football matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Washington Commanders, giving you guys two picks to get you winning some money over here on Prize Picks in the NFL tonight. If you have not checked out Prize Picks, would highly recommend you check them out, guys. It is a player props website and app where you can win money off of picking the over and under on things like players, passing yards, rushing yards, receiving yards, fantasy score, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS when you sign up today to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100. Start winning some money over here on prize picks tonight. And if you enjoy this content, if I provide you with value throughout, would be greatly appreciated, guys, if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It is free. It takes two seconds to do. It does really help me out, and I'm going to keep pump, pumping out this content for you guys, helping you guys out all NFL season long. Last video that I put out NFL-wise, 76.3% of people were not subscribed that viewed that. 23.7% were. So thousands of people watching these videos. A lot of people are choosing not to hit that subscribe button. If you're listening and you're like, this guy's providing the value, really enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. Do appreciate it. And let's get into the picks. Last thing that I will mention is if you are getting serious, you're really looking to step up your game, and you want access to every single one of my picks, all tickets that I place, all sports, all apps, I do offer premium content packages that will be linked below in the description. It is patreon.com slash kjk underscore DFS. There are certain things that I just simply cannot do in these videos, such as send you those instant alerts, send you my tickets. Uh, I do give you two picks for free in this one, break them down, give you all the reasoning so you get kind of a preview of all the stuff that goes into my process. And obviously, giving you two picks that I am playing myself, hoping to win everybody money, and um, providing you with this free value. So let's talk about it. We got one game tonight, so we will break it down. Two picks. And the first guy that I would like to discuss will break things down for the home side first in the Washington Commanders. Um, they come in with a 25.25 implied team total. It's a six-point spread in favor of Washington tonight. So expected to stay decently close. However, Washington is expected to win uh, pretty easily as far as from a money line aspect. 270 favorites. And it makes perfect sense because this Chicago Bears team has been pretty dreadful, specifically on defense. Their defense has been terrible. Uh, Chicago, third worst defense in the entire league, and specifically in their coverage rating, um, they are fifth worst pass rush. They are dead last in the entire NFL. They have a 55.4 pass rush grade as far as their ability to get to the quarterback. Their tackling grade is terrible as well, comes in fifth worst. So you get the point. Their defense has not been good. They have not been pressuring the quarterback. And it is for these reasons, I do have a lot of issue. Um, I do have a lot of interest in Sam Howell tonight, specifically his passing completions. And I'll break down exactly why. So looking at the offensive line, defensive line, the Washington Commanders might have a 31% pass block advantage. So I'm expecting Sam Howell to have a ton of time in the pocket. And when he has had time in the pocket this year, he has been very effective. Looking at the pass pressure for Sam Howell, when he is kept clean in the pocket, the passing percentage as far as the completion percentage has been fantastic. He's completing 73.8% of his passes when kept clean in the pocket. You can see he's got a 76.6 offensive grade, 74 passing grade. Um, just has been awesome. Under pressure? Not so much. Drops down all the way to a 44.7 offensive grade, a 43.1 pass grade. So there's a very clear discrepancy in Sam Howell's ability this year to throw the football when he's under pressure versus when he has time and he's kept clean in the pocket. But when he has been kept clean in the pocket, you can see those pass grades have looked really, really good. Um, and when you're looking at his overall completion percentage on the season, these 0 to 10 yard range, he's 15 for 18 to the outside right, 27 for 33 between the numbers, 7 for 11. And then that 10 to 20 range, 7 for 10, 11 for 19, 4 for 6. So he's been very efficient. He's been completing those passes, like I said, when he has time. And he has a great opportunity tonight to have time with that 31% pass block advantage for Washington. Talked about it. Chicago Bears have the worst pass rush in the entire NFL. When we're looking at the pass blocking ability for this Washington offensive line, they're not the greatest. They're 19th in the league, but still, you can see with the data, Really, really great pass block advantage, even with that being said. So Sam Howell, been efficient, very efficient when he's kept clean in the pocket. You look at his receivers as far as the completion. Like I said, it's that 0 to 10 and that 10 to 20 range. Terry McLaurin, you can see 3 for 3 outside left, 4 for 5, 3 for 3, 3 for 4, 2 for 3, 2 for 2. We go to his second guy, Jahan Dotson, 1 for 3, 5 for 6 over the middle, 3 for 3, 2 for 3, 2 for 4. So you can see 
obviously the strength of Sam Howell has been completing passes when he has time, when he's not under pressure, and everything points to him having plenty of time tonight taking on this team in the Chicago Bears, who once again have the worst pass for us, 31% pass block advantage. And it's for all these reasons that I do expect Sam Howell to have a very efficient night tonight. And it's for all these reasons that I do like his passing completions prop over here on Prize Fix. Um, I would expect that the Washington Commanders are able to get the lead here, but I would expect also that Sam Howell is able to be very efficient in you know getting that lead. Marching his team down the field, like I said, he hasn't been really bombing those deep passes. They've been those short 0 to 10, 10 to 12, 20, 10 to 20 yard range passes, but he has been very efficient when he has time. As you can see, last time out, he went 29 for 41 against Philly, 27 for 39 against Denver. I think we could see a very similar result from him here um, tonight. Buffalo, we only went 19 for 29. Obviously, that's a much worse matchup than we talked about with the Chicago Bears uh, pass rush. Um, so, I think I broke it down for you guys pretty clearly. But Sam Howell, has been very efficient when he has time. Expected to have a bunch of time tonight. 21 and a half pass completions. He's cleared this in two of the last three. And I am anticipating that he's able to have a very efficient game tonight. Maybe not throw the ball a ton of times because Washington could capture this lead early on and not really have to throw. But I think when they're capturing that lead, like I said, the efficiency is going to be on point. It's going to have plenty of time in the pocket. And before they get you know deep into the third, fourth quarter, they start running more. You expect them to have more than those uh, 21 and a half pass completions, 22 plus here tonight for Sam Howell. So pick number one. Uh, we're rocking with the over 21.5 pass completions for Sam Howell. Chicago Bears, worst pass rush in the league. Sam Howell, been very efficient when he has time. Looking great for pick number one. And then pick number two, um, talked about it. Big, I mean, the Chicago Bears have just been terrible. I have a really hard time imagining them um, having to play with the lead in this one, to say the least. I think it's going to be either close or they're going to have to play from behind. Uh, which leads me to my next player prop that I have interest in on the Chicago Bears side, playing from behind their number one target, DJ Moore. Chase Claypool is no longer starting for the Chicago Bears, a guy that was taking some of the uh, target share. He's not happy in Chicago. So we saw DJ Moore get his highest amount of targets that he has all season last week, which makes perfect sense to me. Take Chase Claypool off the field. He was a guy that was getting 4.7 targets per game. Um, Obviously, DJ Moore's target share is going to go up. DJ Moore saw a guy that saw six and seven targets, respectively, the two weeks prior. Went all the way up to nine last time out. And now, like I said, anticipating that Chicago's probably going to have to play from behind this one. Washington has a better team overall. And Chicago's defense just simply can't stop anyone. So what is that going to leave Chicago with? Playing from behind and having to keep up with their offense. And it all starts with DJ Moore. But we're breaking it down as far as how he has been. He has a 76.4 offensive grade. We're looking at a 47.3 matchup advantage for him tonight, which is pretty average, average matchup, but he is expected to go out there and play 63 snaps. That leads all Chicago Bears by a wide margin. 43 for St. Brown here, 56 for Darnell Movie uh, as far as the projected snap. So DJ Moore expected to be out there for a ton of snaps. He's currently a top 25 receiver in the NFL this year with a 75.9 receiving grade. He's been getting the job done for many years. We know DJ Moore really solid overall. And... Hasn't changed. Last time out against Denver, had his best game. 131 yards, like I said, eight receptions with no chase cool, uh, Chase Claypool. Got targeted 10 times. And out there for a lot of snaps, as we had said. 40 pass snaps last time out. 95% um, of those snaps, he's running a route. And 100% actually last week, he was running a route. So out there on the field for a ton of snaps. They're going to be playing from behind. He's targeted heavily. Like I said, we've been, this guy's been doing it for years. Um, last year, had a 77.9 drop rating, really solid. 76.2 receiving grade, 73.9 offensive grade. Um, 80, 80, 888 yards, 63 receptions. So we know the talent's there for DJ Moore, and the game script should be favoring him very heavily. And then, like I said, with no Chase Claypool, he's going to be targeted even more. Breaking down Washington secondary in that matchup, like I said, it's pretty mediocre. Average, but with the talent of DJ Moore, he can really beat any secondary uh, and the amount of snaps he's out there, I really do like. And then lastly, um, when we're breaking down the overall coverage rating for this Washington Commander secondary, they're middle of the pack. They're 16th, so nothing crazy as far as their ability to shut down the opposing team's pass attack. Um, the Chicago Bears do have a 19.25 implied total. Six-point spread, they're expected to put up a couple touchdowns. I could certainly see one of those going to DJ Moore. Uh, but if it doesn't go to DJ Moore... Has been targeted heavily, has been converting on a lot of those catches. The receptions have been up for him. 
in a scoring format on prize picks, that is a PPR format, I do have a projected overs fantasy score, and that is the prop that we will be targeting. 0.1 for every receiving yard. You get six for those receiving touchdowns. One point for every reception. Like I said, it's a points per receptions format. Two points for a two-point conversion should they go. Um, so DJ Moore, guy that's the top target by far now. I expect him to be targeted heavily tonight, and I do expect the Chicago Bears to have to play from behind. And I just think his fantasy score is misrepresented at the end of the day. Uh, but I just want to give you guys a visual last time out. Eight receptions, nine targets, 131 yards, 16.4 average per catch, 13.7 the time before, 17.3, 12.5. So he's been getting down the field. Um, like I said, those receptions, eight, three, six. Last week, he looked the best he has all year. I think it kind of matches up as well, just for the fact that, like I said, no more Chase Claypool. He's just going to have a ton of um, responsibility to carry this team. And his fantasy score is too low. That's the bottom line um, when we're looking at it over here on prize picks. 11.5. He has cleared this in each of the last three games, and I'm anticipating that he does in this one. All that stuff that I talked about, obviously, is broken down in my projections, would be the last thing that I would mention. And I do have him projected, you know, to go out there and put up 14-plus fantasy points uh, in this matchup from a base projection standpoint in a point-per-reception format, such as prize picks. So... 11.5, simply too low in my opinion. They're going to be playing for mine. He's been targeted heavily, even more so with no chase Claypool. And um, even if it comes in garbage time, even if they're just giving him, you know, a few receptions in garbage time for, you know, 30 yards here and there, even if he gets a garbage time touchdown, which I could see happening. Uh, bottom line, I think he clears this prop. It's too low. Got him projected in the mid-teens. He's only at 11.5. Lock it in for pick number two. We're rocking with the over 11.5 fantasy score here for DJ Moore. Target share continues to go up. And the game script should favor him. Chicago's defense can't slow down anyone. Um, so I don't see them having much success slowing down the commanders tonight, which should give the Bears opportunities to have to play from behind and pad those stats. So that is my two picks uh, to get you winning some money over here on prize picks in the NFL tonight for this Thursday night football game between the Washington Commanders and the Chicago Bears. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload and if you're getting serious, already locked in a sixth man for this Thursday night football matchup, you can get that by joining the premium content link below in the description. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Wishing you all the best of luck on your prize picks NFL player props tonight. We will see you in the next one.